Hello there guys, Francis Gray here and in today's video we're going to be taking a quick look at the 1 to 48 scale resin kit of King Kong from the 1933 original movie made by Dark Horse and sculpted by the late and great Ray Harryhausen. I'll see you after this. Okay guys, so here are the instructions. So on the front there we've got a nice drawing of King Kong and uh, if memory serves me correct, I, I believe this was actually drawn by Ray Harryhausen who was the sculptor of the kit. And um, obviously we've got the Dark Horse logo there, the company that made the kit. And if we open this up, okay, so the first page is the main kit the main kit key parts and then we've got all the little in intricate little hooks and chains and all that stuff uh, the actual scale is 1 to 48 scale and then over here we've got some assembly steps for you to follow if you used to make a model kits and uh, especially resin kits then and you know what you've, you're doing then you, you don't need, need to read all of this uh, it's just stating the obvious but if you are new to model kit building then I strongly suggest going through the steps and, uh, and then there's a little bit at the bottom here about Ray Harryhausen and then on the back here we've got just some more modelling tips inserting the metal pins, modelling putty, painting tips, primer base coat, dry brush highlights, shading and washers, lacquers etc and then there's a little advert here trying to get you to uh, find out more about other Dark Horse resin kits and uh, yeah and then just a bit of history about King Kong and then obviously this is from the original movie 1933 and uh, yeah, and then just important, read this first and um, just basically going over a shortened version of all this. So yeah, so that's the instructions out the way. Let's uh, get back to the kit. Okay guys, so the first thing I want to talk about is the metal base structure. Now, it's sanded nice and smooth on top, That is uh, that is very nice. And then the actual plinth, if you like, that he, the King Kong scene at the end of the film, or one of the 80% into the film, is, um, is the scene where they've caught him and he's uh, obviously not liking all the paparazzi flash bulbs going off and yeah, and he decides to break free. So it's that famous scene. So... Uh, yeah, all in all, this this top part I'm really impressed with. They've obviously put that on a belt sander or something because that is uh, lovely and smooth. Um, as for these actual uh, strut parts, some of them line up great to the floor, some don't. Um, I'll show you a close-up of that uh, in a moment. And uh, it does look like it is curved a little bit too too much it's like it's bored in a little tiny bit but n but not distracting it's not like drawing you in I, I suppose once it's been painted it uh, might be an op optical illusion that uh, that you can uh, look past or look over so flip it upside down we've got uh, a, a, a gold sticker there it says King Kong and uh, trading company 1933 RKO Pictures and then licensed by uh, Turner Home Entertainment all rights reserved and then a little tiny 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 microscopic, microscopic uh, sticker that says made in Thailand now all in all this could be better it could be nice and like a lot more straighter but uh, overall all in all as far as resin kits go it's not that bad. They have put extra resin in the corners, which will help keep it a little bit more steady, which is nice. 
Uh, with this actual build, this turned up slightly broken, so I don't know if you can see there. It, uh, there's a crack here. And it looks like it's a little bit loose here. It's not quite cracked yet, but uh, because the other side's giving way, this side's a bit more pressure on there. So before I go ahead and fix, uh, start priming this, I need to go ahead and fix that. There's also a crack here as well, which I've only just noticed now. So, so yeah, so this will all need to be strengthened and maybe uh, put it over before I can go ahead and go ahead and model over that. So, so that's the base done, so let's get to the main uh, the main back piece to it, which is this part here. So this is what obviously King Kong's tied to. So as you can see there, that is supposed to sit on there like that. So when it comes to gluing this part here, I might use a um, um, two-part resin, uh, epoxy resin for that part. Um, so as far as this goes, uh, yes, it's fine. There's not much detail in it really. It's just supposed to be big thick beams of wood and nuts and bolts and all that stuff. So... To say it's been casted out of resin, it's not that bad, it's okay, uh, just five minutes with a file and uh, should be able to get some of those corners looking a little bit more sharper maybe. Um, it does seem to board a little bit, as you can see there, only a tiny bit, but like I said this before, it, uh, I've only just more or less noticed that now, so it's no big huge deal. And then let's get to the main piece, which is Mr. King Kong himself. Now this is really nicely sculpted and I can't see any major issues with this. There's the odd little air hole or little air, air, air bubble on the ends that need to be filled in. But as far as resin kits go, that's actually... Uh, that's actually really, uh, a really nicely detailed piece because some some kits I've done in the past have been an absolute nightmare with the trapped air bubbles. But uh, this might have been in a pressure pot or something because I'm not really seeing that many. Only some little tiny bits like here on the fair, which you never really notice um, until you go looking on it. But once it's all put together, you'll never see it in a million years. But you know, the perfectionist in you. Um, can sort those out before you go ahead and get to the grey prime stage and yeah the only other part to this is um, all the little these are the individual little plates and then we've got the screws and we've got the the hook sorry and then we've got the chains as well and there's nothing on the other side so yeah so uh, let's put this all together as a little mock test and then we'll uh, we'll have a quick look Okay guys, so here is what it should look like once it is all put together. And as you can see there, this should make for uh, a nice model or a nice display. So I need to go ahead and check in with the client because with these parts not sitting flush and uh, parts like maybe boarding or breaking, I wouldn't mind putting this on like a bit of a base or a raised ledge. Maybe you could even incorporate a King Kong logo. So yeah, so I think that might be the way to go on this. So yeah, so uh, I hope you've liked this quick look at. Uh, there's not that much to go into on this build. It's gonna uh, or this review. It's literally just what it is. There's only like four or five parts to it, but I can see it being a little bit tricky with the um, with the hooks and the chains, etc. But yeah, uh, all in all, I'm uh, looking forward to getting this one uh, built and painted. So yeah, so uh, if you've enjoyed this quick look at review, please smash that like button, share on Facebook and Twitter, because helps new people find the YouTube channel, which I'm always appreciative of. If, uh, thank you for any help. 
Um, if you have any comments, comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future builds. So once again, I'm Francis Gray and this is a quick look at review of the Dark Horse King Kong kit. I'll see you in the next build.